Hello, my beautiful Virgo friends. Welcome back to Royal Mystic. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. This is a collective reading for all Virgos. There will be lots of things I discuss in this video that uh, may not ring 100% for you. You'll know it'll ring true to your heart if it's for you. If the message isn't for you or a piece of the message isn't for you, uh, bear with it. Allow another Virgo to have their opportunity to get a message as well and leave it if it doesn't belong to you. Keep it if it does, leave it if it doesn't. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine energy, sp <laughs> wow, divine energy, spirits, spirit guides, and universal gods, goddesses, and higher selves for being present here for this reading for Virgo for the month of July the 16th through the 31st. 2018 to allow me to interpret this reading to give answers and clarity to Virgo who wish to remain on their highest possible path. Thank you, Divine. Okay, this is your here and now energy. This is your relationship interpersonal with yourself or another and or love life this is your career and finance area okay Virgo you've got the Queen of Cups in your underlying energy which is a little bit of a uh, melancholy this is a uh, looking out uh, in the either pessimistically into the future or uh, regretfully into the past and a little bit of fear going along with this this negative uh, you see the clouds in the background a little bit of storminess nothing major just a you know memories <laughs> sometimes we get caught up in our uh, in our story and uh, repeat it in our head about what we could have done differently this is a little bit of that. You're kind of looking back at something that's making you a little sad. You've got the Eight of Wands, which is a fast-moving energy. It could mean uh, communication, uh, plane flight, uh, air travel, some kind of vacation or trip. Uh, but this feels like communication to me. This is a work energy because it's the rods. Then you have the King of Rods, which is possibly uh, your employer or your boss or a person in your life that's a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is a very, or can be your energy if you're getting, uh, starting a new project at work or you're maybe self-employed. This is an entrepreneurial energy. This is someone who works very hard and is dedicated, works a lot. If it's someone in your life that those, attribu those attributes belong to them as well. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. That's a great card. That's your energy. The Ten is a completion uh, to a uh, chapter or a, uh, a a portion of your story. You know that whatever it is that you are going through in your life, uh, something is finishing up in a in a good way. This can also mean uh, the end of lack because this is the opposite of that. This would be very much abundance, and uh, so it may have something to do with you communicating about that we're going to do clarifiers so don't worry uh, hang on for the clarifiers if you're if this, this reading isn't suiting you right off the bat because clarifiers change the whole story you got the knight of swords or add to the story knight of swords which is a air energy this is an action uh, person riding in to take some action clearing paths releasing you from things that no longer serve you so this is a wonderful energy to come in to help you move, tra make this transition from this uh, finishing up whatever it is that is may or may may be holding you back or may be blocking you from this abundance. This energy comes in and clears a path for you. It cuts right through, makes the clarity. It can be an idea. It can be a, an action. It's just, you know, swords or air, so it, it can be a thought. In your uh, personal and relationship, you have the Page of Wands. This is a, uh, a messenger 
It can be about work or it can be about love. Uh, you're receiving some kind of communication again with the wands. You've got the Three of Cups. This is a celebratory card. Uh, this is having a good time with your friends, sitting down for, you know, just uh, or family. The f cups are also family energy. It's emotion. If it's a person, it would be, or people, uh, it would be the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. Uh, and a three is always expansion. So it's a good thing. So increase. Then you've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is definitely your energy. By the way, I don't know if I said that or not. This is Virgo energy. Uh, the, the, the Pentacles are Earth energy. You are an Earth sign. You're very grounded and solid and uh, very rooted, just like this tree. Uh, this is tending to your future and allowing your fruit to be tended to and, and ripen before it's time to be picked. So this is telling you it's not quite that time, but you're, you're being very diligent about it. Okay, so here we have the Four of Cups. Uh, four is a foundational card. And what this is saying is that your emotions uh, or, and or a blessing is coming to you that you may be questioning. Um, you're not, you don't have your hand out to receive and you're not leaning forward to take a drink from the cup. This is uh, literally a heaven sent uh, blessing coming toward you. But you may not recognize it because sometimes blessings don't come through people that or through methods that we believe are, our, are you know the only way for us to get them. It may be disguised as work or a person that you don't particularly care for. You've got the Empress here. The Empress is a divine goddess energy. This is being centered in the feminine. This is, uh, her energy is all about bringing and giving life. She is the creator of all artistic and, uh, well, the assistant to it. She, you, you would connect through her to bring in, you know, to paint or to write or to have music, you know, write music or, you know, be musically inclined, any kind of uh, creative, artistic adventure, uh, yeah, event, adventure would be her. She's the muse for that. She's the, she's the energy source for that. She's what we connect through. Even to do tarot, this would be an energy that I would connect through. She's a divine goddess. She's the life giver. She's the mother earth. She's the mother, universal mother energy. And you've got the King of Cups. King of Cups is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It is an emotion. So this is someone offering you something. So here it is again. We've got the offering here. And the offering from the King. So. Somebody's trying to get you to take, take them up on something. And you're the Queen of Cups over here. So this may be the thing that's. You're kind of being a little standoffish about. Somebody may be showing you some interest and in, because of the past you are afraid. So, let's see. Thank you angels, archangels, divine universal white light, pure white energy. Thank you spirit, spirit guides, guardian angels, and divine higher selves for being present here for this reading for Virgo and allowing me to clarify this July 16th through 31st of the year 2018 to allow them to remain on their highest possible path. Thank you. Well, it's not too shabby. Four of Rods. Beautiful foundational card. So whatever it is that you are lamenting over from the past uh, your future looks really bright this energy is right there underneath it so you might be having a moment of uh, wishing something may have gone differently but uh, your life is doing very well right now as far as your energy and uh, you're stable this is a very stable car that's showing your you're grounded and stable which is I wouldn't expect anything different from you you're a Virgo um, even through tough times, you guys are like a rock. So, 
the Rock of Gibraltar. Okay, Eight of Wands. That's the communication, and this is the magician on top of that. So you're going to get uh, some kind of uh, sign or divine enlightenment, uh, kind of an epiphany, or, or it's letting you know that you're connected with the universe, you're able to communicate, and you're able to manifest anything that you are, you want. Um, these are all the signs. This is the pinnacles, the cups, the swords, and the wands. They're all laying here at the table, so that means you have all you need already. Uh, the universe is infinite, and this is the sign of infinity over the top of his head. And basically all you have to do is call it in. Communicate. Make your wishes known. Make your energy known. And the universe will reciprocate. 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 <laughs> it gets tongue-tying sometimes. So you got the king of wands, which is that beautiful energy. And then a little bit of uh, squabbling going on. Now, this... Uh, fire sign is very passionate and so there may be some words tossed around if it's not you uh, or that may be who's on your side in the battle because you're not alone uh, there's, there's a little bit of an argument or a little bit of a disagreement or a, some kind of competition or jealousy this is uh, the Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy and uh, they are known for their passionate uh, verbalization of, of their needs. You got the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups on top. This is the Holy Grail. This is a gift from the universe. This is the divine elixir of life uh, being offered to you from the universe. A brand new beginning, brand new start. So whatever's going on here, it gets, it, you, you get through it in, a, in the best possible way. So you've got the Knight of Swords, the, the Clarifier, the, the Remover of Obstacles, the Remover of Ties that Bind, and the Seven of Rods, which is Standing Your Ground. So when you, when you decide to clear the path, sometimes people resist that you're getting away from them, that you're removing yourself from their presence, so to speak. Um, because they are no longer good for you. They may, in fact, even be toxic for you. And they may resist and try to pursue. And this is where it's up to you to declare that they shall not. That you are, you are stopping that energy at the door. You're not letting it pass. So, you're standing up for yourself and you're saying no more. I've, I've cut you loose for a reason. Okay, so. Sometimes it's for your own sanity. Page of Wands, which is the communication coming in. And the Six of Swords, which is transition. So you get this communication, whatever it is, whatever this message is. It may be an idea or thought from the universe. It may be uh, an actual communication from someone saying, hey, let's do this. So, this is taking everything that you know and have experienced in your lifetime. And so, this I feel like this, this relates to this card very much. So, she's coming out of this troubled time. She's putting all of her experience in her beautiful ship. And she's pointing it in the right direction. And she's sailing it toward calmer smoother waters and putting away the things that she has been through the trials and tribulations allowing herself to begin new or his self it could be a male or female just so you know tarot is like that uh, souls have no genders the cards are depicting certain images but this can apply to either so the six of swords is saying you're making the transition you're in transition Three of Cups is the expansion, emotions, love, family, relationship, and the Nine of Cups, which is absolute, utter satisfaction and contentment. This is the universe granting your physical uh, situation its wish. Seven of Pentacles, 
which is you tending to your money, taking care of it. It's not quite time for it to come through. And the King of Swords. King of Swords is the Archangel Michael. He's about truth and justice. So he is making sure that whatever you turned loose over here is cut completely free from you so that you can have this wonderful abundance because it's coming in. Okay? And this could be... This is your energy because it's coins, uh, pinnacles, because uh, it's also abundance, which can be uh, abundance of happiness, joy, love, finance, uh, health. These are all the things that this can do. Come in and bring this in for you. Okay, so we've got the Four of Cups here where you're not taking the cup. And a resurrection of something that has passed. This can be a person, a place, a thing. Uh, I feel like it's a, whatever this has been trying to come back to you, you've turned it away and it's going to come back around until you accept it. So somebody's offering you something. You've got the Empress here. And that's the creative, beautiful, divine uh life itself and the queen of pentacles which is your energy so you're embodying this you become very confident you you come fully into yourself you're self-actualizing you're realizing your power and your strength and uh, you're feeling accomplished and and truly in your essence so you've got this king of cups over here this may be the the, the the cup that's being offered here for some of you. Um, and there's some regret of crying over spilled milk here. This is letting you uh, look back again. You keep going back to the what was before. However, you still have cups here that have not been touched. And you have this beautiful castle out in the future. So this message uh, for this card is saying you can have this abundance and love and uh and, and a good, you know, relationship with the people around you. And whoever is making this offer is genuine and true. And you can't look back at past experiences to judge this one. So you've got to let that go. And trust the universe. So, in your underlying energy, I've already explained. Here you are looking at kind of melancholy and reflecting just like this. And this card is saying, but you have such a wonderful life. Don't look back at the things that have already happened. Look ahead. Don't look at that. Look ahead. Block that. Think of this. If he was reflecting on this, his whole demeanor would change. So, keep your eye on the prize. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in old emotions. They no longer exist. That has already happened. So... Allow yourself the wonderful gratitude and happiness of this life. Keep your eyes focused on the positive. Whatever you want to manifest is possible for you, Virgo. Uh, it may not seem like it, but you've got everything you already need. Uh, many blessings to you. If you'd like a private reading, if I didn't touch on something, or if you need something uh, clarified, please go to royalmystic.com. I'll be happy to book a reading with you. Right now, there's no wait. I sure appreciate all of your uh, loving uh, comments. You guys are amazing. I, I feel so gratified by being able to help all of you. And uh, this is truly a blessing for me. May you have a wonderful rest of July. And namaste. I'll see you in August.